women today are struggling so bad and are so broke that they are seriously out here teaching one another how to scam men out of money. Y'all, when I came across this video, I said, dang, how broke are these women? Like, are the modern day women scammers? Serious question. If we're not out here ex working, you know, we're out here trying to finesse and manipulate men out of their hard earned dollars. And honestly, it's pretty scary. And one could not blame a lot of the men today for opting out of dealing with women altogether because you really don't know if a woman is genuinely interested in you or what she can get out of you. Let's be clear, you all. And y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. A lot of women today have really messed it up as it pertains to relationships. And I'm not talking about all women, but there is a big chunk of women out here that it applies to, you know what I mean? To where we have been so selfish, we have been so conniving, so manipulative, so counterproductive and destructive that a lot of men are highly skeptical about giving any one of us a chance. And when you see videos like this come up, it just further solidifies, if you will, a lot of the men's stances. Now, this girl here, she says, hey, this is strictly hypothetical. I would not do this. I have never done it. But I do understand that a lot of women out here are broke, dusty, and struggling. And so here's a scam trick that you all can pull over on men that do take a good interest in you, that do take a good liking to you, genuine interest in you, and you can ultimately play on his intelligence, his emotions, and extract all of his money from him. This is terrible. <laughs> like, seriously, to say that out loud is just flat out trash, but this is what we're dealing with. And again, this is why a lot of men are done, okay? But y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. And let's get into this hypothetical scamming, I don't know, tactic, trick, whatever that these women can utilize on men that may like them to where they can extract his resources and his money. Let's listen. If I was broke and I had to get $500 by this week, here's how I would do it unethically, which I would not do. This is hypothetical. Okay, so I'd find a guy who's been wanting to take me on a date, right? He's been in my DMs or he's been in my messages, whatever. And I would finally start to kind of entertain it and talk to him. Then I'd say, yeah, I've actually been really wanting to go to this wine tasting thing. And I would send him a screenshot from the website with the number at the bottom. But I would edit out the number to put a number from a third party app that I have access to. For example, like text now, you can use an, a number that's not actually your number and get calls to your phone from the app. And I would put that number there. And I would be like, can you call and make us a reservation? And mind you, this would be somebody that we've never talked or met in person. So he would call, but it would actually be me on the other line. And I'm going to act like the wine tasting host lady. And I'm going to say, yeah, like we have availability. We do require a card on file just to make the reservation, but we're not going to charge you until you actually come in for your reservation. So then, you know, he's going to give his fucking card information over the phone. So now I have his card information, but what I need is a zip code. So what I'm going to also do in another conversation with him is I'm going to ask him, oh, like what area do you stay in? And then he's going to give me like a general area. And typically they'll say like a city or a town. And then I'm going to give a zip code and put like a question mark. I think my cousin lives in that area. And then he'll either confirm it or he will correct you. So then boom, you have the zip code. So then I'll take the card number and information and the zip code and I'll go put that into Cash App and send myself $500 using that information. Or I'll go online and purchase a Visa gift card. And that's that. <laughs> Again, 
hypothetical, never done it, never would. I wanted you all to hear everything entirely through. That way, when we break this down bit by bit, you all can really understand where we're coming from. Okay. But did you all hear what she essentially said? She essentially said, hey, this is how you are able to scam and get over on men. I get that a lot of women out here are broke. And if I just so happen to be one of those broke, dusty, struggling women out here, this is what I would do. I would play on a man's, I don't know, feelings for me that really likes me. And I would pretend that, hey, I like you too. And then I would get him all buttered up, thinking that I genuinely have taken a good interest in him. And I would copy down all of his card information and connect that to my cash app and take all of his money. Do you all not hear how diabolical this is, as y'all love to say? And ladies, <laughs> Do y'all seriously not understand why a lot of men don't trust y'all? Don't want nothing to do with y'all? Like, y'all would seriously consider doing this? Like, the audacity of her to even come up with such a diabolical, if you will, um, hypothetical situation in order to help other women to be able to scam men that in of itself is problematic. Like, why would you even put this out into the world for women, young women at that potentially, to think that this is something that's feasible for them to do? <laughs> anyway, let's take it back and, and listen again, and we're going to break it down. Y'all like the video, share the video, and subscribe. This, ladies and gentlemen, is why the men are done with y'all. You can't trust them. If I was broke and I had to get $500 by this week, here's how I would do it unethically, which I would not do. This is hypothetical. Okay, so I'd find a guy who's been wanting to take me on a date, right? I would find a guy who's been wanting to take me on a date. This means he's the type of guy that has not checked out of, you know, dating a woman, wanting to take a woman seriously. Right. And see, y'all really pissed me off with this because even when it comes to the men who have not given up on dating, who have not given up on women and, and relationships and settling down, y'all even poison them against the idea of, you know, taking a woman seriously. You can't trust her. You don't know if she's taking a, a genuine interest in you or if she's trying to scam you. And that's scary. And like I said, y'all are even turning the men off who still have a little bit of hope, have a little bit of interest. So again, pay attention. She's saying, hey, I would hit up a guy that I know really likes me, that I know is trying to take it to the next level or whatever the case may be. And then I would soup him up into believing that, hey, I like you. And then I'm going to... Go the extra mile, and this is bonkers and crazy to me. A lot of y'all chase crazy AF. But she says she would then go the extra mile to create a, a whole different phone number using a text now number or whatever. I don't know. I don't do this crazy itch. But she would go out of her way to create a whole different number to throw him off his course and throw him off her scent and say, hey, here's the number to whatever restaurant or whatever event that I am wanting us to, I don't know, go out on our first day on. And you call them. And when you call them, make the reservation using all of your card information and then go a step further by fishing for his zip code. So again, you can finesse. Ladies, <laughs> Do y'all not see why the men are done with y'all? This is the extreme measures that y'all would go to 
in order to scam a man. So if you're going to do this before even getting to know this guy, if you're going to do this to a man that actually likes you, has an interest in you, like the men are just thinking to themselves, <laughs> could you trust them at all? If you would do this to somebody that is a complete and total stranger, I can only imagine the level of manipulation, the level of deceit, and all of the tips and tricks that y'all would utilize on a guy that did know you, that you did know on a deeper level, because then you would have a better understanding of how to play on him, right? Y'all get the likes up. Hear me out with this. Ladies, these men are scoping you all out. They're peeping game on y'all. And y'all are so dumb in 2024 that y'all would actually put on the internet for the world to see exactly what your scams and tricks are. So follow me when I say this. The men are watching y'all. And they're saying, damn, they would do that to men that really like them, that are genuinely trying to get to know them. Well, I can only imagine in what ways that she would try to get over on me or, or play on me when she knows what my interests are. She knows what my triggers are. She knows, you know, maybe intimate details about me. She would play on that times a million. If I would have really let her in. So this is the thought process that a lot of men can be taken up on when they are looking at what y'all are doing. And again, what's so stupid is the fact that you all are doing these things publicly and then disguising it as hypothetical situations. Girl, please, we see right through you. The mere fact alone that you were able to conjure up this sort of idea in your mind already showcases just how ugh, disgusting, just how deceptive, just how toxic you really are. Like who would even think to do all of that? And who again would go above and beyond to do all of that in the first place? You're going to make up a number. You're going to make up a restaurant, pretend to be the person right? That's even more crazy. <laughs> like, ladies, I don't think y'all are really understanding the level of crazy that y'all are exposing yourselves to be. So not only are you going to create a number, make up a restaurant, but then that man is going to call that fake number and that fake restaurant in which you're going to answer the phone and pretend to be whatever service representative it is. And then get all of his card information. Like, do y'all not understand that y'all can go to jail? Like, seriously, are y'all that broke? Ladies, let me know. Do I need the cash app y'all a dollar? Let me know, okay? I don't know what's going on, but it's getting real in the field. I'm, I'm starting to get very concerned. With y'all going to these extreme measures, jeopardizing your freedom, risking your freedom potentially, like, I just can't help but to think to myself, like, are you on the brink of poverty? You know, is the, the, the coochie coupons not selling? Like, what's going on? You know what I mean? But at any rate, the men are paying attention to this. And this is ultimately why they are running away from y'all. Like, y'all cannot be this desperate and dumb. But this is what y'all do. And then y'all complain that there is no good men out there. Well, the ones that are trying to be good men to y'all, you're scamming them out of their money. Let's continue. He's been in my DMs or he's been in my messages, whatever. And I would finally start to kind of entertain it and talk to him. Then I'd say, yeah, I've actually been really wanting to go to this wine tasting thing. And I would send him a screenshot from the website with the number at the bottom. But I would edit out the number to put a number from a third party app that I have access to. For example, like text now, you can use an, a number that's not actually your number and get calls to your phone from the app. Wait, because that's crazy, but we already addressed that. 
I missed the part to where she said that she would go to an actual website of a restaurant and then screenshot it and then edit out the real number and then copy and paste the fake number. If y'all would put this amount of effort into just being good quality women, like all of your problems would be resolved. This is just next level grade A BS. Like this is too much work. Like, it's bad enough that you all are trying to play on men that actually like you, that actually trust you enough to, you know, take you up on your offer as far as wanting to go to a particular place. You know, he's trusting you. Like, that man is showing a high level of trust and interest for him to even go these steps or these extra miles in the first place. So... It just really showcases how trash y'all are that y'all would even play on a guy like this that you know has been liking you for a while. You know what I mean? Like, this is trash. But again, what more do I even expect at this point? <laughs> Let's continue because that's crazy. Like, this is literally crazy. And I would put that number there. And I would be like, can you call and make us a reservation? And mind you, this would be somebody that we've never talked or met in person. So he would call, but it would actually be me on the other line. And I'm going to act like the wine tasting host lady. Let's take it back. Let's just, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Shit. And mind you, this would be somebody that we've never talked or met in person. She said, mind you, this would be somebody that we've never met or talked to in person, which again, is really showcasing that this guy really, really likes you. The mere fact alone that he would do all of this in an attempt to finally meet you. Y'all should be ashamed of y'all selves. Just a shame, but let's just hurry up because this is crazy. So he would call, but it would actually be me on the other line. And I'm going to act like the wine tasting host lady. And I'm going to say, yeah, like we have availability. We do require a card on file just to make the reservation, but we're not going to charge you until you actually come in for your reservation. So then, you know, he's going to give his fucking card information over the phone. So now I have his card information, but what I need is a zip code. So what I'm going to also do in another conversation with him is I'm going to ask him, Oh, like what area do you stay in? And then he's going to give me like a general area. Typically they'll say like a city or a town. And then I'm going to give a zip code and put like a question mark. I think my cousin lives in that area. And then he'll either confirm it or he will correct you. So then boom, you have the zip code. So then I'll take the card number and information and the zip code and I'll go put that into Cash App and send myself $500 using that information. Or I'll go online and purchase a Visa gift card. And that's that. <laughs> Again, hypothetical, never done it, never would. Get her off my screen, seriously. Just trash, trash, trash. And again, you all, I really need you all to pay attention to the extremity of it all. You have to damn near play detective. You have to be a computer programmer, you have to be, it's too many different hats that she is trying to wear just to finesse. Like, it, it, go get a job at this point. That would probably be easier. Anyway, um, this is why men are done dating because a lot of y'all women are scammers. And I also can't help but to think to myself, how down bad has this chick here been to sit there and conjure up this idea in her mind to begin with? Like to me, she's telling on herself with this hypothetical situation. She probably has been in a very tight spot to where she thought to herself, Hmm, I wonder what I could do to get some fast cash. Oh, I know. I'll try to finesse a guy that really likes me and then, you know, take all of his money and then go ghost. Pathetic.
But again, this is why men are done with y'all. But y'all let me know y'all thoughts, opinions, feedback about all of this down below. Um, fellas, have you been scammed before? Don't be shy. Okay. Let us know what you did, how you fell for it, uh, what you did after the fact when you found out. Y'all let us know. Um, and also let me know, fellas, are you somebody that is kind of like skeptical about dealing with women due to the fact that a lot of them are broke scammers? Let me know. But like the video, share the video, and subscribe. And I'm going to see you all in the next dope discussion. Much love and peace to my crown heads.